First, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all joining us virtually and in person for this year's Indo-Pacific Security Dialogue. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the Prospect Foundation, the Center for a New American Security, and the Japan Institute of International Affairs for organizing this important event. My special thanks to former Prime Minister Abe and Deputy Assistant Secretary Buxley for your participation today. Thank you for taking the time to join us and for continuously voicing your support for Taiwan's security and democracy. I look forward to listening to your talks today. Furthermore, in the past few months, Taiwan welcomed delegations from the European Parliament, France, Slovakia, and the Baltic states. These delegations came to Taiwan not only for discussions on further collaboration between our countries, they were also here to demonstrate solidarity with their democratic partner. As one of the parliamentarians from the Lithuania said during the Open Parliament Forum last week, we are small, but we are strong. And when we join hands, we're even stronger. And last month, we witnessed the establishment of Taiwan's representative office in Lithuania. Last week, Taiwanese government representatives and members of the civil society also participated in a summit for democracy hosted by the United States. Our representatives, Ambassador Beijing Xiao and Digital Minister Audrey Khan, share Taiwan's story of resilience and achieving democracy. Minister Khan also presented Taiwan's experience in combating the COVID-19 pandemic by utilizing digital technology while safeguarding our domestic of our democratic institutions and values. They also related Taiwan's commitment to fight corruption, defend against authoritarian intrusion, and promote respect for human rights in our region and around the world. Our message to the world is clear. No amount of external pressure can shape our efforts and commitment to freedom, human rights, and rule of law, and particularly partnering with a international democratic community. We will continue to work with our partners to maintain a secure, peaceful, free, and open Indo-Pacific. As the world deals with the third and fourth waves of COVID-19 infections, and most recently the emergence and spread of the Omicron variant, our work on global economic recovery and restructuring secure global supply chains has become even more pressing and important. And Taiwan is ready and capable to play a critical role in facilitating and assisting with this grand endeavor. We plan to work with the US, Japan, and other like-minded partners with shared strategic interests to revamp supply chains and produce high-tech products to help regional and global economic recovery. In addition, in September, Taiwan applied to join the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, that is CPTPP. We are grateful for Japan and former Prime Minister Abe's support and endorsement in this effort. Taiwan's bid join this trade mechanism with high standards is a demonstration of our determination to be incorporated in the regional economic network. It is also our hope that our membership can serve as the start of a more significant contribution to regional economic development and revitalization. Moreover, as Asia's hub of technology and with the versatility and flexibility of Taiwan's economy. Taiwan can play a crucial role in key areas like digital economy, supply chain resiliency, 5G network security, quality infrastructure, and clean energy. The last two years have been difficult for all countries, and all these challenges persist as we continue discovering new variants of the coronavirus. 
while racing to vaccinate our population. Authoritarian regimes' intrusion to our way of life and institutions has intensified. But this trend has also served as an important wake-up call for democracies. Although extraordinary challenges remain and will probably stay with us for quite a while, democracies have also been working together to safeguard the values and institutions that we treasure. Our alliances are also being rekindled to serve the interests of the international community. As Taiwan continues to accumulate support from like-minded partners, we will also not shy away from challenges and want to be regarded as part of the solution for the international community. Lastly, I wish today's dialogue great success. I also hope all the participants use this event to discuss and strategize on important issues that are pressing to our citizens' well-being and our country's future. Have a wonderful holiday season, and I very much look forward to welcoming Prime Minister Abe and Deputy Assistant Secretary Busby to Taiwan in the near future.